I believe this is a horrible strategy. That was a new hype. TikTok now is the same opportunity as Amazon back then. Give you a little bit of insights and secrets of the market, what TikTok is telling us directly. There will always be shiny things. There will always be a quick cash opportunity. If you want to get long-term rich, you need to build long-term businesses. I just had a meeting with one of our clients who's doing uh, really, 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 really well on TikTok. So they're selling $30 products and they're selling 500 units every single day. And so they're doing well. And Shenzhen is the city with most Amazon sellers in the world. And TikTok is really after all those Amazon sellers. We're a TikTok partner. We work with TikTok as an agency. Uh, we have meetings with them every week and TikTok tells us directly every week what's going on, what's changing in the market and uh, what's new, what's the best tactic, the best strategy. And then uh, we work with some of the people like I was just visiting and then they apply these strategies and they say hundreds of units a day. The newest thing basically is uh, TikTok shops. So how all these companies are doing so well on TikTok shops is they send a lot of products to KOLs, maybe a hundred products a month, 200 products a month, send it to influencers, have the influencer make a video, and then they look which video is going viral, which other videos are doing well, and then they take those videos and run ads with those videos. That's that's a trick, that's a strategy. It's like, fuck, TikTok shop is the best thing, everyone should do it. I believe you shouldn't. And I believe uh, in doing something long term, I believe in building brands. TikTok, you cannot build a brand on TikTok. That's my belief. And what happened in now, everyone is comparing. This is a city that has TikTok in it. This is the city that has most Amazon sellers in the world. The Amazon sellers that we're talking to uh, normally do between five and a hundred million dollar a year. Those are the guys that you are competing with if you're doing a TikTok shop. So, when we talked to all these Amazon sellers, we were on a event with 17,000 sellers. 17,000 sellers were here in Shenzhen on an event, on a TikTok event. All of them are competing with you. All of these guys, it's a new hype. It's a new TikTok shop. What they are saying is the TikTok shop is the, op the same opportunity as Amazon was in 2015. So in 2015, Amazon became the thing. People start selling on Amazon. You saw a lot of people have success on Amazon. People made so much money. I started in 2014. That was an amazing time. Then Chinese seller learned about e-commerce. Before they knew about commerce, they knew about B2B. They had no clue about e-commerce. Amazon changed that. So in 2015, some people start making really good money. 2016, more people make money. 2017, Amazon became popular. 2018, 19, Amazon became fucking competitive. 2023, we're talking $50 million companies, $100 million companies competing only on Amazon. 100% of the revenue, just Amazon. They have teams and companies built around Amazon. So now they're saying TikTok now is the same opportunity as Amazon back then. And it's true. The problem is the market is completely different. In 2015, no one knew what is e-commerce in China, which are now the main people competing on Amazon. In 2023, everybody knows and all the Amazon sellers are aware of that opportunity. So what will happen to TikTok shop? First of all, now everyone TikTok is trying to get everyone in. For China, they already put a barrier up. You need to do at least $2 million on Amazon to qualify to get a shop. That's already, right, the barrier. That is already the level of people that you're competing with. Last week, there were 17,000 of those people at the event. That's one city, one weekend, one event. That's just the tip of that iceberg. So, if you want to go into doing TikTok shop, that is who you're competing with. The competition will get crazy strong. We're both Google partners and TikTok partners. We both meet them weekly. Google is a kindergarten compared to what TikTok is doing with a the business. They are so smart. They're helping the sellers. If you're a Chinese seller starting on TikTok, they will give you for free 100 KOLs to work with. 
they will find them, they will manage them, they will introduce it, right? They, TikTok does everything to help these people. Here's what we know from TikTok. To give you a little bit of insights and secrets of the market, what TikTok is telling us directly. Now, TikTok is focusing on TikTok Shop US. In summer, TikTok will open TikTok Shop Europe. So they will incentivize that and not the US shop anymore. In by middle of, by let's say Q3, Q4, they will do live stream. So live stream is going to be the biggest opportunity of 2024 until everyone else figured out live stream, of course. This time though, it's not 2015. Everything is different. It will not take five years for competition to be ridiculous. It will take five months. The world is a different world now. So if you're considering going into TikTok shop, if this is your first endeavor, if the first time you're doing something, try it, play around with it, see what you can do, work with the affiliate program. Like you can make some money with it, but the competition is insane. Uh, the level of the competition is ridiculous. TikTok right now is incentivizing it, and that's the only reason why it works. If TikTok raises the CPMs, everyone's fucked. Okay, that's my rant of the day. I hope this was helpful. I think that if you want to build, if you want to get long-term rich, you need to build long-term businesses. A TikTok shop is not a long-term business. A TikTok shop is a sales channel in a business, but it is not the business. The same way that Amazon, to me, is a sales channel in a business, the same way that B2B is. What matters the most is the brand. You have Shopify as a channel that leverages the brand, Amazon that leverages the brand, B2B that leverages the brand. The brand is the most important to build. Then you have a great Shopify store to monetize that, to monetize the branded search, you have your ads, all of that. That is the long, to, long way to go, and there will always be shiny objects, there will always be shiny things, there will always be a quick cash opportunity like TikTok is with shops, and TikTok will be with live streams. Uh, TikTok is doing is the Chinese TikTok. That one, all the money is made on live stream selling products, and Google couldn't pull it off, Facebook couldn't pull it off, no one could pull it off, YouTube were trying to pull it off, like everyone's trying to pull it off and no one knows how to make it work. TikTok knows how to make it work. The Western world isn't used to that yet. We don't buy anything on live streams on fucking social media. We don't do that. But I believe TikTok will change the market to enable that. And that's going to be a huge opportunity because it's a shiny object. And if you want to build a real business with real value that can last long term, you have to build a brand. Brand is the biggest thing that will impact price, how much you can charge. Price is the biggest factor to impact how much profit you make. If you want to have a long-term successful profitable business and not compete on price with Chinese factories who make the product, you have to build a brand. That's it.